Welcome back everybody to the association. In today's video, we have a little bit of a sweet home how-to. And that how-to is how to uh, create a sunken living room or any room for that matter. So that was the question that was posed to us by a viewer. Hopefully he is a subscriber. So how in the world do you create a sunken living room here in Sweet Home 3D? And uh, we're gonna show you right now. So the video that he was referring to left the comment on did not show did not have a tutorial so that's why we you know looking at the views of that video i figured we should do a tutorial on that so let's get into it a couple of things though before we do number one uh, i'm going to try to avoid fast forwarding or skipping through the video because if you miss a step you are not going to be happy uh, number two you want to be working in virtual visitor number three you want to be in a fresh, you know, a clean slate here. So if you have a project in mind that you want to do the sunken living room for, let's do a practice run first. So we're going to start a new slate, a clean slate. We're going to hit Control M, and it's going to bring us here to Preferences. You can see we got a few options up at the top, but the main, you know, bread and butter, meat and potatoes is down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to plug this in. You can do wall. My wall thickness is going to be one foot. The uh, height is going to be around 12 feet. And uh, the new level floor thickness, eventually I want to make that probably a foot or two. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. It doesn't necessarily matter because we're doing a sunken living room. And that, yeah, it doesn't really matter right now. If we build an upstairs to the house, yeah, it's going to start to matter. All right, so there are two trains of thought. I'm going to start doing my rooms here. I assume you folks know how to do rooms. But there's two trains of thought when it comes to doing something like this, sunken living room. So the first one is actually built into the program. It's called Create New Level at Same Elevation. Now, you'll find that in the program if you right-click on, I think, the 3D view, not 100%. And it's, it's going to be a good ways down. But that tool does not guide you, you know, through the steps of how to do it. It's just the button to click on. Now there is a gentleman who does a video on that. I'm not gonna step on his toes, but if you want to check that video out, yeah, absolutely. I I I, I kind of pulled uh, you know my hair out trying to do that 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 create new level at same elevation. So I'm gonna save my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this, and we're gonna do it our way. So you want to go into your height. I'm gonna right click here and modify the virtual visitor right here. And set your height to where you stand at because you're in virtual visitor. I want to kind of view the room as how you would view it in real life. It helps. Okay. Um, a little tip here. So let's get into some, to some tips and tricks here. These just popped up as we were doing the video. So our little project has scampered to the left, uh, you know, top of the screen here. And we want it in the center, especially because we're doing a video. And even if we were just working on it in general, yeah, I want it in the center of the screen. So I'm going to grab an, uh, a low impact model, like cylinder or box. You don't want to be, you know, pulling out like a wall unit. <laughs> okay. So let's do a cylinder and you just left click and just drag it. And there you go. So if it's on your top right or wherever it is, you just counter that using a model and you're good to go. I'm going to leave that there because I think it's not going to be the last time that we're going to need that. So, all right. So we're gonna, we need to create a new level now. So we're going to control, we're going to Alt and N. Control, Alt, and then press N. It's going to create us a new level, and there it is. So the levels aren't really right. Right now you can actually edit them. But if we click on level zero, which should be level one, you can, again, you can change it. We have visible at the top. We have level zero. And our elevation for that level is zero feet. Okay, floor thickness is going to be one foot three inches. It is grayed out because there is nothing below us. Height is going to be right now 12 feet. Okay, these are settings that you can actually change on the fly, unlike the mother, unlike the uh, preference box. That's something you would set up before you get going. All right. Please pardon my my little bit of, of cold. You know, we always have something going on every time we do a voiceover. It is always something. <laughs> Never fails. If we're not doing a voiceover, oh, we're great, clean air, great, fantastic. Anyway. So let's start drawing the walls for the second part of the, this is the main part of the house. And we're going to go ahead and draw a few rooms and things like that. But you know what? Let's just keep it clean. All right. So this is a problem that may happen. This is a triple click. 
I triple click by accident, so if I click right there and hit delete on the key the keyboard, it goes away. This is what you have when you meet you meant to double click to connect the walls, but you, you missed. Okay. So what you can do is just rejoin the walls. So if you have the latest update and version of Sweet Home 3D, what we're gonna do is uh, hit shift on our keyboard. We're gonna highlight the the walls that are in question here. Okay. Highlight those, and when we're done, we'll let go, and we're going to press Control and Alt and J. And that then is going to join our walls. And there you go. And that's how you do that. That's how you join walls. You want to keep everything nice and clean, because if you don't, you could have hairlines and things going on in your wall. You don't want that. Okay, so where are we at now? So, oh, we need to marry these two rooms together. But before we do, let's take a look at preferences for level 1, which should be, again, level 2. Okay, so we have level one. I'm going to change the elevation here because, again, we can change things on the fly. So elevation, we're going to change it to two feet. Now, we made a little bit of a mistake here, and we're going to share that with you because we don't want you to make the same mistake. It's super important, and we'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so I'm just going to inspect the room briefly, make sure it's okay. The ceiling is not buckled or funky because it does happen. So... What we want to do now is marry these two rooms together. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Okay, so we're going to left click. And we're going to highlight the selected room, which is level one. Now go ahead and highlight this. We don't want to touch the other room. We just want to do this one and let go. So we don't want to do anything else but use our arrow keys at this point. And we're going to first line those walls up, the, lo the walls here at the top, with the walls at the lower room. So we'll begin to do that. Now, if you zoom in a little bit, it will fi fine tune what we're doing. So it'll slow down what you're trying to do. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and merge the floors together. So you can see there's no daylight between the floors, the upper and the lower. You don't want to overlap. Now, it's not bad. It's not bad if you overlap, but you'll lose space in your room. That That's what would happen. Okay. So you just want them to touch. Just overlap. Maybe it's just a wee little bit. Okay, so our walls are lined up. That's super important. Okay, now by default, this is on display sep um, separate level or selected level. That's by default. That's not going to help us in any project. Okay, we want to display all levels so we can see everything that we're doing in our house. Now we have the remnants of uh, the beginnings of a sunken living room. So you can see this here. You want the floor to go all the way down. That's the boo boo that we made. So, you want to just play around with that until it's touching the bottom. Okay, super important because we start doing the rest of your house on the main floor. If, if it's not right, then the walls are going to be in the air. Okay, super important. Maybe we'll touch on that in, in another video. But uh, as long as your walls are touching, or excuse me, the floors are touching, then you're good to go. Okay, let's proceed. I want to get rid of the walls here on the upper room. And I'm going to take the walls in the lower room. I'm going to go ahead and bring those up to the top. And there we go. Do the same with the other one. And I'm going to go just beyond the room here. Because the other wall has to go back. I'm going to draw the, uh, the wall back in. And now uh, that has to be joined. So again, Control alt and j Alright. Do the other side. Hold Shift. Highlight the walls that you want to join. Again, you can only do one wall at a time. Or two walls at a time. So let's get into troubleshooting because that will happen when you're working on a project and it has indeed happened with us. And because there's no one sitting next to us telling us to well, push this or click that, you're kind of on your own. So unless you find a video to find out how to correct the problem, yeah, you were on your own. So let's go through some of these. We're, we're pretty seasoned in Sweet Home 3D, so we, we can pretty much figure it out. So. Since there's no windows and doors, we don't know where this wall really is protruding from. But looking at our character, a little virtual visitor, uh, they're looking to the back of the house. So let's take a look at the back wall and take a look at the height here. You can see it is 12 feet. If we look at the side wall here, it's 12 feet. So the numbers are great. So why is this wall protruding up? Someone? Class? <laughs> it's because of the, the upper floor. That wall is a few feet higher. So we need to compensate. So we're going to take the walls on the lower end. We're going to hit shift, highlight these walls by pressing shift, holding shift, and then highlighting these walls. Okay. Done. And then 
we're gonna hit Control, Shift, and E. It's gonna bring up our Modify Walls uh, box here. And we can do this in real time in this box as well. So put plug in 14 feet and we're done. Okay, so there we go. So now in theory, right now we, ha we, we have our sunk in the room with the rest of the house. There you go, awesome. Again, the floor needs to go a little lower because when we begin to work on the rest of the house, the walls again are gonna be up in the air by two or three feet. We don't want that. So as long as those walls, are, the floor is touching, you're good to go. So now let's wrap up here. So there's two types of ceilings that you can do. You can do a lower and an upper. So I'm gonna do the lower and upper ceiling right now. So to do that, you need to bridge that gap. So we just use a box here. You want to make that box as thin as, as possible by taking the depth and just making that depth as thin as you can. Okay, and then working in the height and the width. You don't want to clip through the ceiling. That's a no-no, like that. Don't want to do that. But you don't want to be, you don't want to have a gap between the ceiling and your box. Now the, the ceiling is super razor thin. <laughs> so something you just have to, to uh, work out. Again, the, the more you zoom in, the, the, the more it will uh, fine tune and it'll go a lot slower for you. It won't move around so fast. Okay, so just take a little look-see through the top. You can see there's no ceiling because why would there be a ceiling? Okay, so so if you're going to do a roof or a second floor, you're, you're fine. Okay, let's take care of the ceiling. Let's do it our way. It's the way we want to do it. So we want one single continuous ceiling through the whole project here. So I'm going to take the height. We were talking about this a little earlier. This height pertains to the ceiling. So if I plug in 14 feet, hit OK, then your ceiling now, it raises up. Just like that in real time. And we didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to jump through any hoops to do that. All right. So our next step, our final step, is then to take the ceiling and run it all the way back to the back of your project into the upper room. Now sometimes it'll stop, it won't let you go all the way. That's no worries, you go to the other side here. It will grab the tab, room tab for the uh, left side. And we're going to go ahead and throw it in the corner there, just like that. And you're supposed to get a blue dot. And the blue dot tells you, hey, everything's fine. It's seated correctly. Not always, but usually. Nine times out of 10. So let's, let's see if we can see the blue dot. Right there it is. Okay, so that's telling us we're good to go. Fantastic. Okay, and that's it, folks. That's it. You've done it. You've created your room. So there it is there. You can see how our floor is meeting. So now when we start working on the rest of the house, our walls won't be up in the air. Okay. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for uh, for watching. If you're new around here, if you enjoy these type of videos, and uh, we do what are called build-along videos and showcase videos, then uh, join us. We'd love to have you. You can click uh, subscribe and the bell. Do the notifications how you want. And, uh, and then you've joined us here at the association. So with that, I want to thank everyone for hanging out, for watching, and for visiting the channel today. Signing off for now. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.